You know, I don't know. I think you would see some of the same terminology that you heard from Giuliani before, that they're going to try to parse that this was not uh, a campaign, campaign finance violation. But when you have Michael Cohen pleading guilty to that, saying he was directed by the candidate for federal office, being Mr. Trump, um, you have, even though it's not listed as he's cooperating, he essentially is cooperating with the Mueller probe, and we don't know how far he may, in addition to that, provide any additional information from his time in the inner circle in Trump world. I, I think that this is going to be um, an interesting 24 hours as far as hearing from the president and his team uh, to see what's, what's next. Dana Perino? Well, Brett, one thing I think that the president might do is uh, maybe he won't comment on either of these two things at all, given that we just heard from the uh, police in Iowa with the Molly Tibbetts case that they are holding, the federal government is holding uh, a man, illegal immigrant, as a suspect in that case, in that murder. And to me, um, you know, thinking about the fact that the Mueller thing is a little bit complicated, the Cohen thing is interesting, and it is explosive, no doubt. But if you are out there in America and you're watching this and you're thinking, what do we really care about right now? I think the president will probably be talking a lot about that. Sure. From a political standpoint, I was answering answering the question about, you know, how does he respond to this? But from a political standpoint, he's on Air Force One right now, headed to West Virginia for a rally there to support a Republican Senate candidate. And you're likely going to hear a lot about immigration. You're going to hear about the new coal uh, rule today and the efforts of uh, the proposal uh, that the Trump administration is moving forward. He's probably not going to touch any of this, I would guess, in that stump speech. But over the next 24 hours, there will mm -hmm. have to be some response from the administration, from the Trump lawyers, uh, because the Michael Cohen thing, I think more than the Paul Manafort decision, is going to be uh, very explosive in this town. Greg? Yeah, I just have to piggyback on what Dana said. I think that right now, Trump's you know, main argument has now just been backed up by a, by a very ugly reality. And I can't see how that is that when you when you stack that up against these other tax evasions and guilty pleas for an average American, it it resonates. And I think it's going to become a bigger deal as we get closer and closer. And when we talk about this stuff, it's actually it's a it's a practical real world issue. It's not about these two men who uh, uh, most Americans, you know, know their names, maybe. No, no doubt. I mean, as far as what, what people in the middle of the country are looking at, caring about, yes. But when it talks about the next steps in the Mueller investigation, I mean, look how much has happened just today. And then you have the Michael Flynn sentencing uh, being delayed, the former national security advisor, uh, his sentencing pushed back. You have uh, the Papadopoulos sentencing coming up. You, you have a confluence of, of, of things that are happening with, at least tangentially to Mueller, that seems like it's coming to a Head. Does it Trump, and not to use the mm -hmm. Trump word, but does it, you know, step on the other issues of the day that care most to people out there in the country? No, but it is going to be a big uh, thing if there is a direct tie and Cohen can make it between President Trump, these payments, and paying off these women before the election. Uh, it may be small in the big, you know, as Giuliani describes it, but it could be big as far as where this investigation goes.